Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and I'm here with Mark Risen Hopkins of SiliconAngle.com. SiliconAngle and Wikibon's continuous coverage of Oracle Open World Live 2011. We're here in Moscone Center, and the big news today, Mark, is Mark Benioff, the other Mark, yes. was booted off of the keynote, um, is what the world is saying. Unceremoniously um, ejected. And um, so basically, uh, here's the story. Mark Benioff tweeted out last night that, quote, Larry has canceled my keynote. And Can you see that? <laughs> if we have a, he actually printed up copies of his tweet. Yes. He was handing them out Larry outside. just canceled my key keynote. Um, sorry. Join me at the St. Regis AME restaurant at 10.30 a.m. The cloud must go on. <laughs> so that's the big story here. What's happening is um, we've got the inside story at, at SiliconANGLE. What's happening here is um, you all know the rift between Mark Benioff, former Oracle, former Ellison Lieutenant, now head of Salesforce.com, uh, making many accusations about Oracle, saying Oracle is the false cloud. Um, Oracle, of course, responding with, we are the cloud. Right. Um, Benioff and Ellison last year. Benioff, cloud doesn't come in a box. Ellison, okay. I don't know what he thinks Salesforce.com runs on. Right. But boxes, right. 1,500 of them. Um, on and on and on. Now, what happened was, our Silicon Angles, Kristen Nicole, wrote a piece after Ellison's Sunday keynote, basically saying it was less than enthusiastic. Right. Can you say that, Mark? Yeah, that, uh, the, the headline, I think, said, uh, sets a tone of hilarity for Oracle Open World, uh, because uh, the, the, the Twitter stream that was going on around it, which, you, you know, John and Ray Wong and several others were, uh, were, were having, a, where it seemed to be having a blast, uh, just kind of riffing on the 10X and the uh, exa, exa dump and all the other hashtags that they invented. Right, and, and, and Benioff subsequently tweeted Kristen's article out saying, Larry has set the bar low, and then he put it on his Facebook page. Yeah, Facebook wall. Evidently, the Oracle PR folks didn't take too kindly to that. Yes. Um, and so what they did as a favor is they moved Benioff's uh, speech, which was scheduled today at 10.15 on the coming of the, the social enterprise. Right. They moved it from 10.15 on Wednesday, the, the money day of Oracle Open World, to 8 a.m. on Thursday. Right. After the Sting concert, which ends at 1 a.m. <laughs> yes. Uh, so <laughs> Salesforce.com said, you know what, we think we'll pass on that. Benioff then subsequently tweeted, well, at least I get my million dollars back, which is what he paid to be here for a keynote. So they're moving across the street right. to the hotel, and we have John Furrier on the ground. John Furrier, SiliconAngle.com uh, founder, will be there live with his social cam um, covering the event. We will have him Skyped in, and uh, we'll have all the news and all the action covered right. live from Oracle Open World. And we'll be, uh, if you, if you, is there anything going on right now, Ken? And we, we'll, be, we'll be throwing picture in picture, because uh, there were protests this morning. Did you see those coming in? The, yes, uh, right. The, he had his uh, know, protests. They had uh, the uh, Oracle employees out so there with sandwich see boards. Here, uh, Benioff, at Benioff, too innovative for Oral, Oracle Open World pound, <laughs> Oracle Open World question <laughs> yeah. mark. Is Benioff too innovative for Oracle Open World? The other, the other one that's floating around the street, Howard Street, and, and, and the streets of San Francisco is uh, the cloud must go on. Yeah, yeah, right. the cloud must go on. It, Alex Williams pegged it in a post this morning. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, fun, it's fun theater in a way. It's a circus. They've created a circus around this, this rift. But well, it's, a, it's a very real, you know, a real rift. There's some real tension there, but... Uh, we love it. You know, it, it's Benny, great fodder for us. Kara Swisher uh, quoted him. It's like, this is, this is the best thing that could have happened to my keynote. I get my million dollars back and all this attention being paid to my, to my, uh, uh, my, my message now. Right, that's right. So in, in some respects, maybe he, he should be thanking Ellison. Thanking Ellison for canceling him. The, the publicity is amazing. Of course, the publicity for Oracle is amazing. It's yeah. just... As, as Scott McNeil used to say, there's no such thing as bad press. I mean, this is just uh, great fodder. Um, now, let's go back a couple of years ago when Ellison said, the cloud is water vapor. Um, that was his diss the cloud moment, and right. Benioff since then has been hammering away at Oracle for not understanding the cloud, not being the true cloud. Uh, Salesforce.com, let's face it, you know, started the whole modern cloud movement in the right. late 1990s you know, with its software as a service and its CRM, and it's just um, doing a, a fantastic job. The other thing is uh, 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 Dreamforce, mm -hmm. which was a conference um, 
the same week that we were at VMworld, Mark, was actually here, and I believe was larger. Yes, it is, it is rivaling, it's starting to eclipse, at least in attendance, right? Which was what, I heard 40,000? Yeah, it's, a, 40, it's, it's in the 40,000 somewhere. I mean, I've heard several numbers, but I didn't get the, uh, the official final count. This one's supposed to be 46. You know, I mean, they're neck and neck, right? Is it that, is it that large? I didn't, I didn't so, uh, know. So that, that was the number I, I heard bandied number? about uh, on the uh, official Oracle Twitter stream. Okay. Um, some other news, a little less interesting. So uh, John <laughs> Chambers had a keynote this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be covering that. We've got some uh, guests from Cisco on later on. We'll be talking about that. You know, frankly, Mark, I thought the, the keynote was okay. I mean, John Chambers is always good. But yeah. I thought his message was a little stale. You know, so um, what was he? What was he talking about mostly? Yeah, basically, he was talking about market transitions. He said that uh, this is now the we have entered the uh, from an infrastructure standpoint the network economy. Okay. Um, which I think is, you know, a little bit outdated. I think we're in the services economy. So w did know? he try to explain the network economy? What what that meant to him? Yeah, you know, net network centricity, and obviously it's uh, favorable mm. for for Cisco. Yeah, I, um, I would. I would. He that. talked about constant change. Uh, he talked about uh, mobile innovation, which is you know, it's good to see yeah. Cisco talking about mobile innovation. We had Juni Juniper on the on the show yesterday, and of course they've been very active in, in mobile. So it's good to see more networking companies hopping on that bandwagon. He talked about being number two in x86 uh, blade servers, mm -hmm. which is there's a lot of debate about that whether or not they're right. really number two. I remember that. Yes. Um, IDC published some numbers. Evidently, IDC has sort of retracted kind of some of its numbers, but we're not really sure. We're still looking into that. Uh, video, he talked about being huge, and cloud and mobile, the two hottest topics out there. So certainly would, so would agree with that. What, what did he say about video? I'm curious. It's always something I follow is Cisco's messaging on video. They've kind of vacillated on that. Kind of when they, uh, around the time they started retracting the flip and getting out of adjacent markets, they stopped talking as much about video. I think like. his points today were that video is going to be absolutely huge. Cisco recognizes that. It's going to drive a lot of requirements for network bandwidth and Cisco plans to be there to take advantage of yeah. that. That was really the, the messaging that I heard. And, and and he also said that the cloud is the fastest transition that he has ever seen. The market is, the world is not going to wait. Um, so, you know, as, as uh, Pat Gelsinger said, you know, when the, what do you say, when the tsunami hits, if you don't, if you don't get ahead of it, you're going to be driftwood. Yeah, that's right. Uh -oh. Yeah. So that's what's going on here. Uh, we're going we're gonna to cover all the action. Um, anything else going on in your world, news-wise? So, uh, there's a lot of discussion. There seems to be a, a almost predictable backlash against Apple yesterday. I wonder if it's, this is something I actually th thought to predict uh, when uh, Steve Jobs announced his departure. It was, when Steve Jobs leaves, will the reality distortion field dissipate? And I think the answer uh, that we see from, if you look at the volume of headlines that are on, uh, on you know, the tech aggregators that are somewhat negative about Apple in the wake of the announcements yesterday, I think the answer might be yes. Because if Steve Jobs was up there, you know, all the fanboys would be, you know, out there defending things in the press. Uh, there's a lot of blame being shifted to Tim Cook for things that really, you know, this is just a, it was not a, it was just a run-of-the-mill product announcement. Was uh, some really cool things in there, like Siri. I'm, I'm still excited about that. Even though when Apple bought them, the company kind of broke my heart. Uh, there's... I'll, I'll hope for yeah, that. looks good. I mean, you were saying it's a little bit more innovative than what we have at yeah, Android, yeah. so that's, I'm, in, I'm encouraged for that. Yeah, I mean, it's true AI. I mean, I've, I've been in briefings with these things. It's, it's by, the, uh, by the definition of, uh, of like, you know, uh, Tur the Alan Turing definition of AI, it is true AI. Um, and Apple's re rebounded. Remember, yesterday the stock was off, one of the few tech stocks that was off yesterday. Apple's back up today, the mm -hmm. market's up uh, generally right now. Um, okay, Mark, well, thanks for coming in. Yes. Uh, we've got uh, Satish Lakshmanan from QLogic coming in. Yes. Uh, we're going to get Satish in before the Benioff uh, sales conference. We're going to bring in John Furrier from, live from that conference. So why don't we uh, uh, switch gears here and bring in Satish? Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Mark Risen Hopkins, no uh, editor-in-chief of SiliconAngle.com. Uh, he'll be back throughout the day with, with all the news.